Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I will be discussing the stages of language acquisition. But before I begin, here's a few notes. First, this video concerns language acquisition, not language learning. Language acquisition begins at birth and operates unconsciously, while language learning is a much more deliberate process and starts later in childhood and can extend well into adulthood. Second, there's a critical period for acquiring language. Even in the womb, a child observes the melody of their mother's language, but language acquisition begins in earnest at birth and continues through puberty. If no language is acquired during this time, then it would be extremely difficult, if not impossible, for the child to use language at anything more than a very basic level. Third, when interacting with children, we often use what is called caregiver speech, and this is characterized by exaggerated pitch, increased volume, and simpler vocabulary. Now, we may feel that it's perfectly natural to interact with children in this way, but it is not universal. That is, not all cultures use caregiver speech. Now, let's go over the stages of language acquisition. After we're born, the first stage is called crying. <laughs> newborns cry a lot, and everyone else cries too. But for newborns, crying is the only way to communicate. For a while. Over the next few weeks and months, we learn to explore our vocal tract. And this includes producing extended vowel sounds, or cooing. Next, we start combining consonant and vowel sounds into syllables. We begin by repeating the same syllable over and over, or reduplicated babbling. During this stage, parents often think that their child is producing their first word, like mama or dada, but in fact, they're just doing reduplicated babbling. And here's a linguistics joke for happy hour. Hey, what are you writing your dissertation on? Reduplication. Really? Yeah, because I only have to write half of it. After we get enough practice repeating the same syllable over and over, we move on to variegated babbling, which involves combining multiple different syllable sounds, such as Eventually, we start producing individual words, like anti-disestablishmentarianism. Okay, that would never happen, and if it did, you should run. A child's first words are usually things that they see in their immediate environment and have direct experience with, such as guanoa. Did you just say granola? Guanoa. Granola. Guanoa. Then we start putting words together in the two word stage. Doggy woof. Around two years of age, we start producing telegraphic speech, such as wanna go night night, just like viewers of this video. Comprehension leads production, which means that children can understand a lot more language than they're able to produce. And once they're at this stage here, they've learned a lot of words and are making rapid progress all the time, and they start experimenting more with the morphology in a language. This often results in a number of memorable errors based on overgeneralization, or the incorrect application of a grammatical rule. My foots hurt. Oh, what happened to your feet? Not feet, foots. During this time, children are also trying to experiment with the semantics of a language, trying to narrow down the semantic domains or meanings for each word. This often results in a number of memorable errors called overextension, where children are applying a broader semantic range to a word than is used in adult language. Look, sweetie. What is that? Kitty. No, that's a lion. Kitty. Okay, it's a big kitty. Now, let's dispel a couple of myths about language acquisition. It may seem that children acquire language by simply imitating others around them, but that's not quite the case. It's more accurate to consider children little statisticians, so every minute of every hour of every day when they're exposed to language, they're figuring out actively what are the patterns and constructions that are used by others. That's how they sort of land on the system that's used in that language. Uh, second, there's no evidence to suggest that correcting a child will help them to learn a language more effectively or more quickly. The fact of the matter is that children acquire language at their own pace. 
By the time children are around eight years old, they're already masters of the language or languages they've acquired. Before you know it, they've developed theory of mind, they're using sarcasm, and they're groaning at dad jokes. And this is around the time when they start bringing in a lot of language that was acquired outside of the house. Hey, sweetie, how was school today? Oh my God, where did you learn that? Okay, that's all for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. In the meantime, stay safe, be well. I'll see you soon. Take care.